In the last lecture, you learned how to make a connection to the database using PDO, PHP data object. In this lecture, I'll be teaching you how to create the markup that we'll be needing for this small project. So now let's go over to the index file. So in the index file, we want a paragraph. We'll say, uh, you are currently not signed currently not signed in then we provide a link to enable the user sign in so specify login.php here so if the user is not registered then we say here not yet a member so we also provide a link to the registration page so we go to the sign up.php and put a test here sign up okay so we need one more paragraph this will only be displayed if the user is already signed in. So say um, you are logged in as we're going to display the username here using PHP. Okay, we username. Then we also provide a link to enable the user logout. So this will be to logout.php. Okay, so let's refresh this in our browser and see what we have now. So go to localhost slash slash alt. So this is the index. You are currently not signed in. We have a link to this login page here. You are not a member. We also have a link to the sign up page here. So let's go over and create the login page. So go to login, just grab the HTML from the index and uh, go to the login, paste this here. So right now we don't want uh, this here, take this out. So let's say here, I just want the link to redirect us back to the home page. So put here index.php, change the test to back and uh, take this out okay so we also need to change this to login page set the title is our authentication system we need an h3 tag here and say login form okay so All right, so now we're going to create the HTML form that we'll be needing. I'll prefer to wrap this within a table. So we'll just create a form element form. We set the method to post and we set the action to empty string so that the form will be executed in the same page. So I'm going to wrap this within a table, the form elements. So create one table and uh, Within the table, we're going to have a role. For this role, we have the table data. First one will be username. So for the next one will be the HTML form uh, attributes. So we're going to specify the input type be equals to test for the username. value equals to empty string so next we could just grab this and use it for password password then type is going to be your password value nothing 
Next, we create a button. TD. So we put a button here, input type should be submit. So the value should be sign in. Okay, so let's refresh this in the browser and see. Go over to the browser and login. So we have our basic uh, HTML login form here. So I'll prefer to move this button to the right hand side. So we could just use the inline CSS to do that. So we'll set a style and just float it to the right. So go to refresh the page and the button is now at the right hand side. So next, let's create the HTML marker for the sign up form. We'll do the same thing. We'll just copy this from the login page and go over to our sign up page and paste this. So we want to change this obviously to register page. And we want to also change this to register form. A registration form. Okay. So uh, what do we need to include here? We need to change the button test to sign up. We need to add a feed to collect the user's email. So we'll TD we call this email. So the include the input type. So we'll just use test again. You can actually use email for this, but I prefer to use test. Okay, so value empty string. So that's all we need for sign up form. Also, let's go over to the browser and refresh. Sign up. So we have the sign up form here. Go back, login. We have the login form here. 